We're going to move on to item 3.2, American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month Proclamation. Mayor and Council Members, uh, Dublin takes great pride in supporting religious freedom and championing diversity and inclusion in our community. This proclamation acknowledges the rich history and contributions of Muslims and the lasting positive impact they've made in our community and in our country. And Mayor, we have a, a couple members of the community here to support uh, the proclamation. We have Iman Tai Ahmed, president of the Dublin Muslim Cultural Society, a member of the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay. And we have Azam Jafri, president of Islamic Center of Zara. So I'll leave it to you to invite someone to the lectern. I appreciate that. Uh, can we have one of those representatives uh, come up, please? Good evening. It's good to see all of you. Um, I wanted to thank you all for the honor of being here with you again. Um, I've had the privilege of accepting a few of these proclamations, and um, I'm proud to be a member of the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay. It's uh, not just a place of worship, but a community center that engages in providing services ranging from uh, you know, partnering with the Alameda County uh, Food Bank and as a food pantry, providing mental health support groups, disability services, and much more. And uh, as a service and civic service is one of the central tenets of our faith, they're always encouraging us to participate and become civically engaged. It was through this encouragement that I became involved here in Dublin, which about a decade ago now. And uh, when I first started participating, there was just a handful of us and we all knew each other um, that were Muslim. Now I'm very proud to say that we are, there's uh, numerous numbers of us that are participate here in Dublin and are civically engaged and are actively in service uh, here in Dublin. Um, one of the things that we truly appreciate about living in Dublin is that uh, we've always had a great partnership with the city. This proclamation this year is particularly meaningful because 24, 24 has been a difficult year for Muslim Americans. We faced an increase of um, 250% in incidents of hate crimes and um, uh, discrimination against Muslims. And living in a city like Dublin, where we have so much support, we feel seen and included and a sense of safety to participate fully as citizens in uh, the city of Dublin. So we really appreciate that. And we're always looking for opportunities to further engage with the city. And with, their, with your support um, and creating this haven of inclusion and unity, we have thrived. And this year we were able to create um, the, the Muslim Cultural Society of Dublin. And um, we're really excited about being able to partner further with you. Some of our initial initiatives are trying to get, um, you know, we have a great deal of small business owners here in Dublin that um, are part of our community. And we want to help them be more engaged with this um, Chamber of Commerce and with the city's activities to promote and encourage small businesses here in Dublin. We also have our youth committee that is just getting off the ground, but they're excited to have a street iftar this coming Ramadan uh, that's open to the community at large, as well as running a year-long service um, community service project where uh, we raise money and food to support uh, food insecure individuals in the Dublin Unified School District. So we're really looking forward to some of these projects and I'm really always excited to see you guys, but I'm really looking forward to the few next few years where you'll see other faces. Um, we'll have our youth come out and our my fellow board members, one of whom is here tonight, Minara Abdurrahman. And um, to have all of them join us and to uh, so you can hear more about what we're doing and all the great activities. And we invite all of you to come out and join us. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Um, you know, it's it's always been our honor to to provide you with this recognition. And it's my honor tonight to read the proclamation to all of you. Uh, whereas freedom of religion holds distinction as a cherished right and a fundamental value upon which the law and ethics of the United States are based on. And whereas the city of Dublin takes great pride in supporting individual religious freedoms and is strengthened by contributions of its diverse population, including those Americans who practice Islam. And whereas approximately one million Muslim Americans currently reside in communities throughout California, the highest number in the United States. And 
whereas the citizens of Dublin benefit from Muslim religious, charitable, educational, and empowerment organizations that operate within the East Bay. And members of the Dublin Muslim community have been strong advocates for equity and inclusion at the municipal and state levels of education and social programs that support all Dubliners. And whereas it is appropriate to promote awareness of the many contributions of American Muslims in Dublin and across the nation and to extend to them the respect every American deserves. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the, city of Dublin, the, the Dublin City Council acknowledges the rich history and contributions of Muslims and the lasting positive impact they've made and does hereby proclaim August 2024 as America Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month in the city of Dublin. Sign the city council. Thank you very much. Thank you. Whereas Alameda County is home to over 90,000 Muslims who make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well-being of our city, county, state, and nation, and whereas the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay and the Islamic Center of Sahar have served their community members by holding spiritual workshops, children's learning programs, and volunteering opportunities and support community members in need, and whereas through the Islamic practice of zakat, Local Muslim organizations help give back to the community by providing grocery deliveries and financial assistance to local families, delivering 25,000 pounds of food to 150 families weekly and providing living expenses to more than 50 East Bay families per month. And now, therefore, be it resolved, the Pleasanton City Council does hereby proclaim August 2024 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month to acknowledge the rich history and contributions of American Muslims in our community, and may it have a lasting positive impact on our city, state, and nation. Good evening, um, Mayor Carla, Carla Brown, Vice Mayor, esteemed council members. Uh, my name is Jamila Friday. I'm here to, with you tonight as a mom a wife, a pediatrician in Alameda County, uh, a proud member of the Tri-Valley and a proud member of the Muslim Community Center, also known as MCC East Bay. MCC, <clears throat> pardon me, um, I'm honored to be here tonight on behalf of MCC to accept the proclamation of August as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month. This is the ninth year California has declared this proclamation and the fifth year that the city of Pleasanton has done so. I think I can speak for my community when I say that we appreciate this gratuitous honor, not in the way gratuity is understood in 2024, <laughs> but in the true nature of gratuity, meaning it's a gift given in good faith and appreciation, one that is never accepted, but its recipient is always appreciative of. Unfortunately, given current world events and specifically the war that we are seeing unfold, we find ourselves in a climate similar to, to the one that existed when California began this proclamation in 2016, a climate in which anti-Muslim and anti-Islamic rhetoric goes unchecked. However, these yearly proclamations are helping to change that. For instance, a study, study done by CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, published in November of 2023, reported that 47% of Muslim students surveyed reported feeling unsafe, unwelcome, or uncomfortable at school because of their Muslim identity. While that is still an unacceptable number, it is an, actually an improvement over the 55% of children who reported feeling this way in 2021. When the Tri-Valley cities that we live in, work in, love and, and love support us in this way by bringing awareness to the contributions of Muslim Americans, we further enrich and expand upon the beautiful tapestry of Pleasanton and the Tri-Valley tri and continue to make, it, to make it a welcome place for all. We appreciate the opportunity to tell our story as Muslims from our lives and lived experiences. So let me share a little bit of who we are as Muslims in MCC. 
When we serve, we serve our entire community. We are teachers, professors, social workers, therapists, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, athletes, the list keeps going on, right? All of these members comprise MCC and where it stands today, which is just over on West Las Pesitas, as you may have driven by it, not too far from the Luckies. It's first started in the minds of a few Muslims in the Tri-Valley in a basement, and now it is a bustling and lively community center. Um, just a few examples of what we do at our MCC. Um, along with a partnership with the Alameda County Food Bank, MCC, ser MCC serves hundreds of Muslims, uh, and uh, sorry, just community members, including Muslims, per week um, with that partnership. We host quarterly blood drives, pet adoptions. We just added rabbits <laughs> or bunnies to our pet adoptions. Interfaith dialogues to promote reciprocal understanding amongst the different faiths of our neighbors. Parenting workshops, community building workshops, and mental health services. All of this with the goal of building a Muslim American community that, that possesses a strong understanding of its civic duties and love of our neighbors. So on behalf of MCC, thank you for this proclamation and for recognizing the contribution of Muslim Americans. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, especially Mayor Brown and respected council members. Mayor Brown, I'm very happy to see you first time. I live Pleasanton for a very long time, and since my childhood, I keep seeing you here. <laughs> I'm Thank just you. Kidding. Since your childhood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. My name is Essen Kazmi, and I'm one of the board of trustees of Islamic Center of Zara. Uh, on behalf of the Islamic Center of Zara, I'm deeply touched and grateful to be recognized by the city of Pleasanton during American Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. This recogni recognition is a testament to the collective effort and dedication of our entire community. We are grateful for the city, city ongoing partnership and support. We look forward to continue our collaboration efforts to enrich and support our community together. Thank you so much. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Council of the City of San Ramon recognizing the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and the San Ramon American Muslim community for their contributions to the San Ramon community. Whereas freedom of religion holds a distinction, distinction as a cherished and essential right and fundamental value on which this nation was founded. And whereas Muslims have been a part of U.S. history from the beginning and have contributed to the production of wealth and construction of the nation. They are also part of the rich history of the civil rights movement and whereas Muslims are teachers, lawyers, doctors, social workers, tech workers, nurses, business owners, among numerous other valued professions, as well as peace builders, activists, entrepreneurs, and politicians. And whereas there's, there's a thriving community of 250,000 Muslims in the Bay Area and over 100 mosques and religious centers, and Muslims pursue diverse professions and make the rich contributions to the social, cultural, economic vibrancy of the United States 
and have distinguished themselves by fostering greater respect and understanding among all people through faith and services. And <clears throat> whereas the San Juan Valley Islamic Center, in partnership with Support Life Foundation and 47 other Bay Area mosques and organizations, have packed and distributed over 100,000 pounds of food staples to at-risk communities in the Bay Area through their You Are Not Alone program. San Ramon Valley Islamic Center has held blood drives with the American Red Cross. The San Ramon Valley Islamic Center is one of the largest donors to the Contra Costa Food Bank, donating $30,000 to $35,000 every year in addition to $500,000 in donations to Contra Costa resident Muslim families in need. And whereas it is appropriate to acknowledge and promote awareness of the myriad of invaluable contributions of Muslims in California and across the country and extend to them the respect and camaraderie every person deserves. Now therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of San Ramon does hereby recognize the California State designation of August 2024 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month to acknowledge the rich history, contributions, and guiding virtues of Muslims and to commend all Muslim communities in California for the lasting positive impact they have made towards the advancement of our city and country. Dated August 13, 2024, signed David E. Hudson, Mayor. Thank you very much. Once again, we thank you for recognizing San Juan Valley Islamic Center uh, in this significant time of Muslim Proclamation Month. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I represent, uh, I'm here on the behalf of the board representing with immense pride and gratitude uh, for this recognition. This occasion not only marks a celebration of the rich culture and religious diversity within our community, but also serves as a reminder of the unity that binds us together, regardless of our backgrounds, where we came from. Especially now, it's important when there is so much divisive, divi divisiveness out there. For over 30 years now, San Ramon Valley Islamic Center has been a cornerstone of our community's social fabric. Its commitment to fostering understanding, compassion, and support for all residents, regardless of faith, is nothing short of exemplary. Through its numerous initiatives that was just uh, spoken about, SRBIC has continuously worked to build bridges between different communities ensuring that every voice is heard and respected and the Muslims in the community are the social fabric of where they belong. Muslim Proclamation Month is more than a recognition of the Islamic faith. It is a celebration of the shared values that unite us. Values such as justice, charity, and the pursuit of peace. These are essential to Muslims and SRVIC holds them dearly to their heart. SRVIC over the years has embodied these principles through its tireless efforts in providing essential services, promoting interfaith dialogue, which happens quite a lot, and nurturing the next generation of leaders, which is really important right now as, as we bring up our second and third generation children in the United States of America, the leaders who will continue to carry forward these ideals. Today, we honor not just an organization, but a vision. A vision where diversity is seen as a strength and where every individual is valued for their unique contributions to the community. SRVIC's impact is felt far beyond the walls of its own institution. It resonates in the lives of the families it supports, testament to the fact Mayor Hudson remembers you know, after 9-11 how the community came together and we also thank the city to be supporting us through our, uh, our tenure here. Uh, as we move forward, let us take this opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to the ideals that SRVIC upholds. Let us continue to work together in the spirit of cooperation and mutual respect, ensuring that our city remains a beacon 
of inclusivity and harmony for all its residents. In the closing, I extend my heartfelt thanks to SRBIC, the board members and the trustees who are here, and the community members for their unwavering dedication to our community. May this recognition serve as a reminder of the positive change that is possible when we come together in the spirit of unity and understanding. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you.